You'd have to look back well over a year to find a spot where the U.S. jobs report carried some real influence on market direction. There are two primary explanations that help reconcile this phenomenon. The first is the fact that U.S. employment data, as reflected through NFPs and the unemployment rate, have been tracking at consistently robust levels that have already met the necessary requirements as far as justifying policy action in the form of normalization from the Fed. And so anything that comes out strong is what is expected, and anything that misses is dismissed as a one-off. The second explanation is that we have entered a world where politics are playing a major role and are taking precedence over economic data as a determinant of direction. And so as we get ready to find out where this latest jobs data falls out, when it comes to expecting big reactions to unemployment or NFPs, there should continue to be disappointment. The data also falls follows this week's Fed decision, in which the central bank was clear about its reasoning for moving back to a more cautious stance, a reason that highlighted Fed risks that needed to be considered that extended beyond economic data and into bigger picture risks, including those that extend outside the U.S. border. With all of that said, our takeaway is this. The one component in the data that has, however, been more relevant is the component that continues to be important given its capability of actually justifying legitimate moves in the market based on its result. That component is hourly earnings, a component often thought to be a piece of data that serves as a warning sign for inflation. We have seen signs of a pickup in earnings, and if this data set comes in above forecast on Friday, this could be the type of thing that moves markets as it all of a sudden makes the Fed's justification for a pause a lot more challenging. This would be taken as a negative in the stock market, given the implications on rates. As far as the dollar goes, while there would be demand for the buck on the yield differential implication, we see the market less inclined to be wanting to pile back into the dollar at a time when the U.S. administration is expected to push ahead with its soft dollar protectionist agenda. If we break it down, the market is looking for NFPs to come in at 165 k down from that whopper of a number from last month that was 312 k The unemployment rate is expected to hold steady at 3.9%, while average hourly earnings are expected to keep with the same year-on-year print of 3.2% and pull back to 0.3% month-over-month from 0.4% previous. Using euro-dollar as a proxy, key levels to watch above and below come in at 115.50 and 113 respectively. A break above the current weekly high at 115.15 would set the stage for a much bigger push through a recent weekly high at 115.70 and that would turn the picture a lot more bullish. Back below 113 will suggest the dollar could be getting ready for another big run, exposing a fresh drop below the 2018 low at 112.15. That's all for now.